Hey everybody, uh, this is my third video in my tutorial series for Fiesta Online. Uh, where we left off, we were just about to talk to Blacksmith James about gaining this quest that he has available for us. Ooh, uh, my HP just went up <laughs> quite dramatically. What just happened then? There is a cleric somewhere around here. I think he's the one there. What a lovely cleric. He randomly buffed me. Buff in this game means giving you a, well, basically an HP increase, your health point increase, and maximum SP as well. So that's what happened here. And then he healed me, he gave me my full health points. Um, now, that will last for an hour, and it tells you just here this is the particular buff that you have, and it will last an hour. This other little one down here is a debuff, and uh, if you get poisoned or anything, you know, negative in this game like that, that's where you'll get a little um, icon there that will show you what your debuff is. Uh, now, another thing I just wanted to mention quickly, uh, because I was talking about shortcut commands on the keyboard earlier, uh, down here you have a whole bunch of icons, which also you can quickly access. Um, the same sort of keyboard shortcuts just by clicking on these keys too. Now, and each of them also just tell you, you know, actions V key. Uh, mini house is the H key. So, you know, you can either click with your mouse or you can access them using the keyboard shortcuts. Um, now, I'll also just show you down here. This is the main chat box and usually it's not highlighted. I sort of like to highlight mine, so I'll just show you that right now. Um, if I press my escape key just up the top, I'll be able to access my options menu, which uh, has help, game settings, and graphic settings. So these are two things you may need to um, fiddle around with if you need to change your uh, game, obviously your game settings, like your monitor and that sort of thing sound settings, you can control your master vo uh, volume, sound effects and that sort of thing. Shortcut settings, so if you don't like what's there already you can click on that and change them around. Change your character, change your server, quick game. Now what do I want to do? Game settings I think. And my here we, we gives you an option, a lot of these are already selected for you, but you can remove them if you want. Um, hide chat box, I'm going to unselect that just so that I can see this really clearly and apply. The other chat box that you have down here on your uh, right hand side is it tells you quest details, if any of your friends have logged in, uh, it has your server wide message there written in bright yellow. Uh, and it tells you, well, it's telling us that we can't sit next to an uh, NPC or a mini house uh, when we're trying to house as well. So there are your two main chat boxes. Now, let's have a look here at this quest that Blacksmith James has for us. Begin the quest. Um, now, he's just telling, this is our first real beat em up quest where we are meant to get uh, speedy slimes and five imps and one hero slime. Whew, okay, sure, easy enough, no worries. We get a green cue telling us that quest is now in progress. Um, okay, let's just head on over here. Who's this over here? Weapon title merchant, Zack. Hmm, what have you got for us? We also need to get, oh, that's handy. Okay, five slimes, five mushrooms, and three imps. Sure, no worries. I will do that for you. Now, let's, before we leave this area, let's have a. Oh, actually, there's another red queue. I love all these quests. Grandpa Robin. Okay, are you talking to me? Yes, you over there. I'm really sorry that I keep just clicking through these. If you want to read them, go for it. Um. Okay, he's talking about a holy promise. So this is a system that benefits both novice and experienced 
uh, by giving the novice more powerful items and monetary profits for experienced users. So that was the master and apprentice system that I was talking about earlier and you can access that um, by pressing the F key and going to your community menu. Yes, the holy promise. So he just gives a really detailed explanation about it. So if you're wondering anything, please read through this. And he tells you exactly when you will receive prizes. Um, okay, so just I'm not going to read it all out because that's pretty boring. Complete the quest and he will give us 300 copper just for listening to him. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the trees. And um, what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted um, <laughs> is I'm going to press another shortcut key on my keyboard called M. And just remember M for map. Pretty simple. And this will tell us, oh, okay, there was another quest that's all the way down here that we should probably get. Um, so what I'm going to do, and you can see this is us over here. Really struggling to move around because I have this big map. So I'm going to press this X up in the corner and close that. And um, something about this map, um, they've changed this game quite dramatically where it's easier to get around some of these maps now. Like that stairwell we just walked down never used to be there. We have to use to go around all the way around. This thing that's over here is called a teleport gate. And you can only access them from level 10 onwards. But don't worry, it is pretty easy to level up in this game early on because you can use quests in order to do that. Um, yeah, so just keep on picking up all of your quests and handing them in and you'll be able to level up really, really quickly. Um, here we go. Town Chief Ruminus. Begin the quest. Um... He's telling us about the Guild Academy. This was something else that I was going to talk you through, but if you read this introduction to it that you get from this particular NPC, um, you'll be able to get some idea of what it's about and what you do and what your role is and what your guild, ma uh, guild, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> guild members will do in order to help you out as well. Fantastic. I am loving all this free money. Brilliant. Now let's check, have we got any more quests left in this town? No, we have two in progress. And this little bit on the side here tells us exactly also what we need to get. So, let's go and check out some monsters very quickly. You'll see people flying around on different things called mounts. That guy was just flying around on a hobby horse. You can buy uh, the basic hobby horse. I think you can buy it at this level. Uh, and it will shorten your travel time a decent amount. But just remember to buy things in order to um, feed it as well. Okay, here we go. Some slimes. And now when I'm clicking on, I can just hover my mouse and it changes to a little sword. And it tells me that I do need five of these and for the particular quest as well. So we'll just double click on it. Oh! And tells us here, this is our personal message. Um, one of five, so 20% of that quest is done. And what it dropped here was some torn leather and tough meat. And what we will do, we'll pick those up. So remember your shortcut key? Uh, we have item pickup. Uh, that is on the two key. So if I press two, I will pick those items up. So I just got two torn leather and two tough meats. Do keep all of these different things that you get from killing animals and things like that. Because you can use them for quests later on. But also you can use them for your alchemy skills, your production skills. Some of them use different things like um, you can make scrolls and potions and they use particular things which you get from monsters. So we're getting through, we just got some bone from that one. And uh, we need one more. 
And the other thing with picking up those items that monsters drop is that even if we don't need them, somebody else who plays the game might need it so they may buy it off you. And also you can sell them straight back to the NPC to get more money. Um, which is really awesome uh, if you're really broke <laughs> like me. You can um, try and sell things back to NPC. Here we go. There's a mushroom and Master Zack needs us to get five of these things. So we'll double click and try and kill it before it kills us. If you see over here as it attacks us our HP goes down. Oh, and he dropped some dust. This thing down here is also telling us how many XP we are getting from killing each monster. So those slimes before we're giving us just two and the mushrooms because they're a little bit trickier are giving us five. So we'll just try and wipe this one out. Ooh, that was a critical. Critical of eight. <gasps> and I just leveled up. So I may sign off just here in a moment but over here you have your level and also the circle which shows you how much XP and it, there's 10 little circles here so each time you get 10% one of these is highlighted. Um, also very quickly what I may just do actually I'll show you I'll show you this in the next video there's some other keyboard shortcuts you can use and I will access my skill uh, to put that into my hotkey and I will do that in the next video. Okay, see you guys.